They come from all walks of life with a common goal, influence leaders in Lansing to pass common sense gun laws. We can make common sense changes that respect the rights of gun owners and keep our children alive. This group, End Gun Violence Michigan, demanding change in the wake of the Oxford High School shooting. November 30th started like any other day and unfortunately ended like my worst nightmare. Kylie Mirand, an Oxford High School junior, joining this Zoom press conference Monday to remember the worst day of her life. I frantically texted my brother. He is a freshman at the high school and was a lot closer to the incident than I was. I waited three minutes for him to respond saying he was okay. That three minutes was the scariest three minutes of my life. She was barricaded in a classroom. I was trembling, holding a test textbook, just knowing that this is what we have been trained for since whenever I can remember. Four students were shot and killed, including her friend Tate Meir. His precious life and others were taken decades too soon and it breaks my heart to think about. No one my age should experience losing a friend, especially losing a friend in this way. From Oxford to a Detroit park where a mom was gunned down after an argument on the basketball courts was settled with gunfire. People have to understand when you go to the park, you go there to enjoy your life, not have your life taken away. Francesca Marks shot and killed on a hot summer day in August 2019 at Rouge Park on Detroit's west side. My daughter left seven children. Three of them would not even have a memory of their mother. And Gun Violence Michigan has several events planned. Head to our website for more information. Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.